Today we're taking a look at an alternate version of the exercise 11-9 from page 521 of the textbook, Chapter 11, Reporting and Analyzing Equity. This exercise is taking a look at dividends on common and cumulative preferred stock. The problem reads that York's outstanding stock consists of 50,000 shares of cumulative 7.2% preferred stock with a $10 par value and also 127,000 shares of common stock with a $1 par value. During its first four years of operations, the corporation declared and paid the following total cash dividends, and they're listed for us 2015 through 2018. The first thing we have to realize is that this stock, preferred stock, to see if it has a cumulative feature on it. If it does have a cumulative feature, that means the stockholders are entitled to the number of shares outstanding times the par value of stock times the percent of the dividend each and every year. If the company does not make a dividend distribution in that year, that amount carries forward into future years and is known as dividends in arrears. So first to calculate the amount of the dividend that shareholders are entitled to. So take the 50,000 shares times the $10 par value per share times 7.2%. What dollar amount is the dividend that preferred shareholders are entitled to each and every year? Well, if you did the numbers correctly, you should come up with an annual $36,000 dividend. Now look in 2015. What's the amount of dividends that are made available in 2015? Well, the company made dividends available to all shareholders of only 22,000. Well, preferred shareholders, because they have preference to dividends, one of the benefits of being preferred, they're entitled to $36,000. But only $22,000 is made available, so who gets that $22,000? It all goes to the preferred shareholders. Were preferred shareholders made whole, though? No, they are shy, still $14,000, and that amount becomes dividends in arrears. Let's take a look at further at the data to explain this more. It says, determine the amount of dividends paid each year to each of the two classes of stockholders, preferred and common. Also compute the total dividends paid to each class for the four years combined. So we have a chart here, and we're going to put up some information. First, the par value per preferred share. We just said that was $10. The annual dividend rate that's stamped on those preferred share certificates is 7.2%. The dividend per preferred share would be 72 cents. The number of preferred shares issued is 50,000. So the total amount of preferred dividends each and every year should be 36,000. Now let's take a look at the dividends that were paid to see who gets what. So in 2015, the company paid 22,000 in dividends. Well, preferred shareholders in their entirety, they're do 36,000, aren't they? But only 22,000 was paid out. So how much gets paid to the preferred shareholders? They get all of it. How much goes to the common shareholders? They're next in line. There's not enough to make the preferred shareholders whole. So common shareholders get nothing whatsoever. Dividends in arrears, the additional dividends still do preferred shareholders is $14,000. As we move on into 2016, now the company pays $29,000 in dividends. Preferred shareholders are entitled to $36,000 each year, plus there is $14,000 already in arrears, but the company only made available $29,000. Well, who's going to get all of that $29,000? That's going to go directly to the preferred shareholders. Will the common shareholders get any dividend in 2016? No, there wasn't enough money. It all went to the preferred shareholders. How much is dividends in arrears after 2016? Well, remember, they were due 36000 They only got 29000 So there was how much in arrears? 7000 in arrears for 2016, plus the fourteen from 2015, which makes total dividends in arrears 21000 7000 in arrears from 2016, 14 in arrears from 2015. As we move into 2017, there is some good news. Dividends is $90,000. So how much are preferred shareholders due? Well, they're entitled to their $36,000 each and every year. 
Is there anything that's past due for them? The dividends in arrears? Yeah, there's 21,000. So the combined amount of the dividends in arrears plus their annual dividend per the interest rate that's stamped on their stock certificates, they should get all that together. Or they should get how much? $57,000. 36,000 plus 21,000. Dividends in the entirety were $90,000. So who's going to get paid some dividends finally? The common shareholders, and they're going to get the balance of $33,000. Now, there are times when preferred shareholders might have uh, their certificates stamped in a way that calls their dividends to be participatory. In that case, they may possibly share in that additional amount to the common shareholders on a pro rata basis or based on some formula. But this problem is pretty straightforward to say no, all of this is going directly to the common shareholders. Now we move into 2018. 2018, 58,000 in dividends are made available by the company. How much will preferred shareholders get of that? 36,000. How much of a balance is going to go to the common shareholders? Twenty-two thousand. Are there dividends and arrears? Not at all. Everything was paid out as agreed. And then to total things up, we simply total all of the dividends paid equals one hundred ninety-nine thousand. One hundred and forty-four thousand of that went to preferred shareholders, with a balance going to where? the common shareholders.